Hi, my name is Josh Gorin, and I'm senior tech staff with Walt Disney Imagineering Research and Development. Excellent. So tell me a bit about the uh, amazing Destini here at uh, the Expo. So the amazing Destini truly is that amazing. He's a demonstration of a new audio animatronics technology from our research and development group at Imagineering. So Destini is a robotic fortune teller who's telling people's fortunes and having full, unscripted, live, interactive conversations with guests, and there's no human operator involved. There's no puppeteer, no performer, no actor. It's just Destini using sophisticated computers, sensors, and artificial intelligence to understand what guests are saying and doing and respond in character to tell their fortune. Ah, you there. What is your name? Ah! Here's what I want from you. I want to know if you know my name. Huh? What is my name? This is the another sound of it. <laughs> So this is a, a next step in the whole living character movement? Absolutely. The living character initiative has been going on for well over 10 years now, and we're really excited about it. You know, typically we don't get a chance to talk about the technology in our parks uh, because we want guests to just focus on having a great experience with their characters. But here is a special treat at D23. We're able to give guests a never-before-seen, behind-the-scenes exclusive look at the technology behind the scenes. So yes, this is an absolute evolution in the tools, technologies, and techniques that we use to bring our living characters to life and have them be responsive, immersive, alive, and engaging. I, I seem to remember Destini being in the parks at one point, but that was kind of a different version of this? Right, so at Imagineering, a big part of our process is experimenting, or what we call play testing, where we take a technology that's still in development or an experience, and we put it out in the parks, usually without announcing it, for just a little bit, and we videotape it, or we take surveys, and we see how it worked, and then we go back and we refine it. So Destini has made a few surprise appearances in the parks already, um, and we've used that knowledge to make him better. And actually, this experience here at D23 isn't just a showcase, it's a working play test. So we're actually using all of the information that we're gathering from talking with D23 guests to make Destiny smarter. So it's great that we can share this behind the scenes look with D23 guests, but also that they can help make this technology better for eventually getting into the parks. Well, I can't imagine any Disney fan coming here, especially D23 members, wanting anything better than to be able to help Imagineering on a project. That's great. Everyone who comes to talk to Destiny is helping Imagineering to make this technology better. Okay, so tell me more about the technology. What have I got uh, standing behind me here? So as I mentioned, we're giving sort of a sneak peek behind the scenes look that we've never done before at the tech that makes Destiny work. So in this space here, we've got a number of different sensors, visual and auditory, um, basically anything you can imagine, just like we use all our senses. This system, this software written by our Imagineers in R&D is combining all those senses together to create a view of the world and help Destiny respond in character. So over here, we have a top-down view of Destiny's space. Each one of these dots represents a person, and so it also takes the vector that people are moving on, so it knows, is someone just walking by, or are they actually trying to stop and talk to me? Are these two people together in a group? Are they a group of two or of three? Is it an adult or a child? He's actually keeping track of the groups in the space just like a performer would. And then he's using his vision system to look at people's faces and he's actually reading emotion by looking at the expressions on the face. So we're assigning happy values, sad values, angry, surprised, impatient, and combining all this information. So just like an actor looks at his audience and changes his performance based on the response, Justini's doing the same thing. Destini also has a short-term memory, so he's looking at faces and remembering them. So when someone comes back who just saw him, he'll be able to recall that and say, hey, your fortune hasn't changed, I still remember you. And we're tracking all of this, plus a whole lot more, this is kind of a simplified display to create a view of the world, and then Destini has to respond in character. Because, you know, at Disney, our technology development is always about characters and stories and theming. And so it's really important that he stay true to his personality because it's the personality that you fall in love with. And if we do our job right, guests aren't thinking about the tech, they're not thinking about all the computers and the sensors and the work that went on to make this happen. They're just thinking about interacting with this great character and having an amazing, memorable experience. And that's really what all of Imagineering strives to do every single day. And the goal with this project is not necessarily just Destiny, it's to further the whole uh, spectrum of what you can do in the parks for an interactive experience. Absolutely, that's absolutely right. So we're not proposing Destiny as a specific character or attraction for any particular park right now. Um, this is just a new character that we've created to showcase and test these technologies. Um, although some of these technologies have already spun off and are in the park today, hopefully in a such a subtle way that people don't notice they're there. 
And as we continue to evolve these tools, technologies, and techniques, we hope to see more and more of these characters and this liveliness and this interactivity brought all over our parks all over the world. I'm a big fan of the uh, recent upgrades to the Haunted Mansion in Florida, and I understand this is not all that different in technology from what is used to track guests in, for the hitchhiking ghosts. That's right. That effect uses some very similar technologies, and a lot of the teams worked really close together on that as well.